Greetings, Willa Shant here with your Awakening Your Consciousness reading for Thursday, April 25th. Hope you're having a lovely week. We want to see what the Divine Source has in the way of guidance for us today. I'm using the Syrian Starseed Tarot again. And I'm going to get here, get shuffle in here and see what comes through for us. Pull our three cards. Okay. <clears throat> well, the first card I pulled is the star. The star is about not just our origins, but also about being positive and having positive energy around us rather than negative energy. We should have hope and faith and belief in ourself, in the divine, and in our purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, you'll find out it's on the journey. It just it takes time for us to find it out sometimes. Patience will be needed again. But just remember also our origins. We are starseed. We are stardust. We came here to earth to awaken. We came into this third dimension to awaken ourselves, our own spirit, and to help others awaken in turn to help the entire planet. When this all started, we began by setting off nuclear weapons and the reason that we are starseed is because we need to stop that cycle of war and destruction and we need to wake up the planet, but we have to do it one person at a time. You are already awakening if you found these videos, so you are already on your path, but who else needs to wake up? Maybe just being in your presence, talking to somebody just say one spiritual thing and it, it might click with them and it might set that trigger off so that they can wake up too. But that's how it works. We had to come in, we had to wake up so that we could help others wake up. But we are from the stars and we are multidimensional beings having this human experience at this time. Now our second card here is the Two of Crystals. So when you think of the crystals, we think of abundance, we think of money, we think of the pentacles. It's our earth energy, the crystals are. So sometimes we have to juggle. We have to juggle our spiritual life and our work life and our social life and our family life and we're juggling it all. You got to try to stay focused on what's important if you get overwhelmed, take a step back, stop and meditate. Take the time to do it, even if it's 10 minutes. <clears throat> Sometimes we just have to clear our minds and do a reset so that we can gain control and our balance again. So try to stay organized. Try to understand that there, you're multifaceted as well in this lifetime because there's so much you have to do. It's not just about waking up. We Yes, we have to do that. That is our main goal is to spiritually wake up, but we're still going through a human existence, which means you still got to go to work. You still got to pay the bills. You still got to feed your kids. You still got to take care of your relationships. You still have to do all of those things. So juggling is part of that. So just try to not drop anything, but take some time to meditate and clear your mind once in a while that will help you regroup and it will help you get back into balance and maybe you won't drop anything and our final card is the seeker of flames and think about being a seeker 
um, you're on this journey, right? You're seeking knowledge and, and, and awareness and enlightenment. And this is you. And when it shows up in a reading, it says you're going in the right direction. What you seek, you shall find. So just remember today to stay positive. Remember where you come from. You come from the stars, you're the star seed. You're, you're the light workers in the star seed. The indigo children, the rainbow children, whatever you want to call yourself, that's who you are. But you're a multidimensional being having this human existence and experience at this time. And we came in to wake up and we came in to help others wake up too. Just stay positive. Stay positive. Keep hope and faith as the number one for you. Then we have the two of crystals. So just remember, when you have to juggle all the different parts of who you are being multifaceted, even in the third dimension, you have to try to also take time, clear your mind so that you don't drop something. Try to stay organized. You got to juggle your spiritual life, your work life, your home life, your social life, but you can do it. Believe in yourself. And finally, the seeker, the seeker of flames. Just remember, you're going in the right direction. Seek and you will find what you are looking for. That's the beauty of this journey. We are seeking. We want awareness. We want enlightenment. We want to raise our vibration to happiness and joy. And you're going in the right direction. Don't doubt it. Just keep on going. Well, I hope those help you today on your journey. And if you are seeking a personal reading, don't forget willowlamachant.com is how you can reach me to set that up. And also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The links are all below in the description. And don't forget to hit the like button when you watch the video and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. If we can reach a thousand subscribers, then I can do some live interaction with you and do some live streaming. It'll be a lot of fun. But we got to get there. So hit the like button and subscribe and get your friends to do the same. And until next time, be blessed.